In this video, I explain double pass surface condenser. It is also called as the salient tube type condenser. So, what is the meaning of double pass and surface condenser? So, surface condenser means exhaust steam coming from the turbine is not directly mixed with the cooling water. Means here cooling water is passed from the number of tubes and exhaust steam from the turbine is passed from the, this cell okay that's why it is called as the cell and tube means in a one cell there is a number of tube is there and from the tubes water is passed and from the cell the steam is passed that's why it is called as the cell and tubes now what is the double pass so here this cooling water is moved from this water box to here okay so this is called one pass and from here it is passed again back from the top of the condenser so it is called as the double pass means water is passed throughout the land two times that's why it's called as the double pass surface condensers first we see the animation of double pass surface condenser so first part is the tube plates okay so this is the sectional view of the double pass surface condenser okay means we are drawing the front view but when we see this tube plate from the side view it is a one circular plate made from the metals so this is the just section here means there is a two tube plates are there this is a one tube plates this is the second tube plates okay so in this diagram you see there is a number of tube plates are there so this is the first this is the second third fourth fifth means depending on the length of the tubes the number of tube plate is provides tube plate means it is a one cylindrical components in this cylindrical component number of holes are there okay and through this hole the pipes are installed okay so it is clear now means from this hole pipe is going up to the second plates okay so here we draw this pipe means from this hole we can install the pipe okay so this hole is filled by using these tube plates now this all the tubes are covered by using the one cell okay means this tubes are placed in a one cell so here we provide the cell so cell is also the cylindrical components okay so from the both side it is covered okay means this diagram is covered by using some cylindrical components it is called as the cell exhaust steam coming out from the turbine is supplied in a condenser from a top part of the condenser and at the bottom of the condenser we collect the condensate condensate means the condensate means liquid forms of the steam so this is called as the condenser cell and both the end of the cell is covered by using the head okay so this is called as the head and on the one hand here we put the some baffle plates to create the water box from the bottom of the head cooling water is supplied and from here the cooling water is out and here the air pod is provided to remove the air okay so here we install the air pump to remove the air so this vent for the air is also provided in the centers okay so that is a two types are there further it is a down flow or a central flow so this cooling water is passed from the tubes and outside the tubes exhaust steam is passed from here the cooling water is returned back now we understand the working the arrangement of the double pass surface condenser is shown in this figure means in this figure you see this diagram that we understand by using this animation it consists of cast iron means this heat exchanger is consists of the cast iron it is a airtight cylindrical cell close at each end so this is the cell okay and this cell is the air tight by installing the head on both the end of the cell so this is the one end it is covered by head this is the second end it is also covered by the head a number of water tubes are fixed in the tube plates which are located between each cover head and the cell okay so in the last diagram we can see that is a number of holes are there in a tube plates and in this hall we installed a number of tubes okay so in this front view we only see the 7 to 8 uh, tubes are there 
but when we see from the side view that is a number of tubes are there circulating pump is used to circulate the cooling water in a condenser tube means this cooling water is supplied from the circulating pump okay so through the circulating pump cooling water is supplied in a condenser cell and from the cell it is passed in the tubes cooling water enters from the bottom so here in this diagram you see that the cooling water is enter from the bottom then after enter it is flow through the tubes so here you see it is flow through the tubes travels back and leaves at the top means this is the one direction from here it is return it is travels back and leaves at the top so cooling water enter from the bottom and leaves the top thus flowing through the entire length of the condenser twice means the cooling water is passed two time this is a one round this is a second round that why it is called as the double pass surface condenser from where exhaust steam is enters and leaves so exhaust steam enters at the top here you see exhaust steam from the turbine is enter from here flow downward means the steam is move in the downward directions and the steam is come in the contact with the tubes and inside the tubes the water is flowing so temperature of the water is lower temperature of the steam is higher so in which direction the heat transfer is takes place means heat energy from the steam is supplied to the water so steam is start to condense and the temperature of the water is increase okay so this condensed steam is collect at the bottom part of the condenser and then condensate is supply to this boiler by using the condensate pump from where air is removed so air is continuously removed from separate suction by air pump so here you see the vent is provide to remove the air and air is removed by using the suction pump so there are various methods are there for the removing the air the air can also be removed by steam jet air or injector instance of the air pump means instance of the air pump we can also use the steam jet air injectors this condenser may be of down flow or a center flow means what is down flow and center flow this air vent is provide at the bottom of the condenser then it is called as the down flow means air is removed from the down parts okay in what is a center flow type in a center flow type this air vent is provided at the center of the condenser means air is removed from the center of the condenser then it is called as the center flow type condensers so here i complete this double pass surface condenser so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card for other subject or power plant engineering subject i request to visit the playlist